Good morning, afternoon, or evening. I hope everyone is well, wherever you may be in the world. I am Michael Lyons, and I have 10 questions for the workshop. The first question is, how are the proposed journal and multimedia archive related? My proposal is that these should be linked but independent entities. An archive could take a flexible and evolving format, which can be built on free and stable platforms such as YouTube, GitHub, and Zenodo. It does not need to be peer-reviewed, though some editing or curation could be helpful. By contrast, a journal needs to fulfill certain academic standards, including peer review. It could be hosted by a publisher, institution, or independently. These items could connect via links and citation. To give an example, UbuWeb is an online archive of me media related to avant-garde art and is exemplary. Created in 1996, it has been exceptionally stable and runs on a shoestring budget in cooperation with partners. We should find out how this works, perhaps by communicating with the editor, Kenneth Goldsmith. My remaining questions concern a possible NIME journal. First and foremost, do we really need one? The question has been discussed during the roundtable at NIME 1 and has been considered periodically since then. Our immediate focus was on creating a conference and an open archive for the conference articles. However, a special issue of CMJ was also organized after NIME 1 as well as NIME 2. As far as I know, there have not been further special journal issues. So we should perhaps ask what, whether existing journals are sufficient and whether they are sufficiently relevant. We can also ask, are careers being negatively affected by the current publishing ecosystem? And we should also think about what uh, potential authors and readers think about the possibility of a new journal. In other words, it would be wise to do something like a market survey. So assuming that we wish to create a new journal, we should ask whether it should be organized with a publisher or, or whether it should be independent. A publisher, of course, provides expertise, existing infrastructure, as well as stability and prestige. Uh, your mileage may vary. On the downside, uh, this puts authors in the absurd situation of having to pay for the right to distribute their own work and can lead to large disadvantages for everyone, including uneven access and embargoes. With an indie journal, one retains ownership of content, which is a more flexible situation. However, we need to ask who is going to make a long-term commitment to do the required work? And who is going to pay the bills? Because there will be bills. We've, we should also be asking whether prestige might be affected by potential conflicts of interest, instability, or lack of expertise. To give a positive example, because there are, there are hundreds or thousands of indie journals which you have never heard of. You know, do a quick search and see what's out there because they have almost no impact and almost no visibility, except for perhaps a very tiny community. However, here's one example of a journal which is widely known and has had significant impact, the Journal of Machine Learning Research. It started as a published journal with Elsevier. However, in 2001, uh, to make a long story short, they broke away from Elsevier and went independent and since then it has been very stably published. Uh, it has a good reputation, it's widely indexed and a highly evaluated impact. They have a, a very uh, simple and solid publication model, so I highly recommend looking at the website. They also have an associated uh, code archive which is hosted at GitHub and they are hosted in parallel at the ACM Digital Library, which probably helps. Finally, an alternative plan might be to focus rather on maintaining and improving the success of the NIME Conference Proceedings Archive. So if you look at the recently published annual Google Scholar metrics, 
Unfortunately, our ranking has dropped this year and we should perhaps look into what is going on there and how that can be fixed. And as a bonus question, I'd like to ask, uh, how is it that Izmir is always doing so well in these rankings? And as far as I can see, Izmir does not have a dedicated journal, but they tend rather to publish uh, articles in well-established IEEE and ACM journals. Those are my questions, and hopefully that provides some stimulus to the workshop. Thank you.